system and it comprises of many parts of our body it comprises of nerves and also axons now the nerves in the pns are divided into three main parts first one is the sensory nerves second one is motor nerves third one obviously mixed nerves you learned about mixed fraction at school that one now we will learn about sensory nerves now what is sensory nerve we sense something when something beats us now this is different the sensory nerves sends messages from the sense organs to the brain and also known as to the boss of the entire body next we have the motor nerves the motor nerves are the part at the nerves which send messages from the muscles to the central nervous system which is the cns now the mixed nerves they do both everything they do both of the actions they do sensory acts they do the actions of sensory nerves like sending actions from the sense organs to the cns and they also do the actions of the motor nerves while they send messages from the muscles to the cns now wait 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 wait, wait. peripheral nervous system you have seen wires give me that one give me that one yes you see this wire right here this comprises of many thin layers of wires this wire is contains the electricity and these veins the nerves in our body they contain the messages from different sense organs from the muscles from every part of the body these nerves of our body now we also have the actions first up we have voluntary actions second we have involuntary actions the voluntary actions the actions which are in our control the actions which which are in our own will we can do them like i am holding this book this is under my control but what is involuntary actions you might be wondering what is involuntary actions involuntary actions are the actions which are not under our control and it can be divided into two parts one is automatic action and the other is reflex action first is automatic action the automatic action is the action which is not under our control the regular beating of a heart is an automatic action now the last piece of the puzzle the last part of the video is the reflex action now reflex action <coughs> give me that glass of water oh my god oh my god that's so hot that's so hot now you saw that glass of water was so hot and it directly moved my hand out of it this is an this is known as reflex actions this sudden movements in our body sudden movements within the nervous system are known as reflex actions so we understood every single part of the nervous system now we will take a few examples of the nervous system now as i just told the brain is the boss our boss of our body it is divided in three parts the cerebrum the cerebellum and the medulla now it also has the spinal cord and we will also this is the summary which we learned all about and and we also have the pns the peripheral nervous system it is comprised of three nerves which are the sensory nerves the motor nerves and the mixed nerves and it is divided in two actions which is voluntary actions and involuntary actions and as we just saw that the involuntary actions are divided into two parts which are the automatic action and the and the in and the reflex actions now reflex actions the sudden actions and i just put my hand away from this hot glass of water now we have this book right here we can see this diagram right here of reflex 
duplex actions. What is this? What is this action? You see here, it is comprised of the sensory nerves. And, it, and the motor nerves contain the muscles of our body. When the sensory nerves, when the sensory nerves touch the hot pot of water, when the sensory nerve touch the hot pot of water, they directly sense and send messages to our brain. This sudden movement, sudden actions, all these sudden things in our body are controlled by the brain. This action I just showed, this diagram I just showed, it is also the reflex actions. So, please like and subscribe to my videos for more new updates and for more new videos. This is Bhavik signing off.